Welcome to iTech 5120 Media Workshop on Digital Imaging. I'm Dr. D, your instructor for the course this summer, and this overview will break up the course expectations into three sections. To help you get oriented with this course, there are five major things you need to know. First, this is a six-week course. We begin on Tuesday, May 26th, and we wrap up on Friday, July 3rd. That means you get to enjoy your Memorial Day weekend and then enjoy your 4th of July weekend. But that also means that this is an intensive course. We're taking a three-credit hour, 15-week class and condensing it into six. So each Monday, I'll post for you a video overview, not unlike this one, that will wrap up the previous week's discussions, introduce any topics for the week, and then give you a detailed list of what I'm expecting from you that week. Each week, you'll also have activities to complete, some weeks more than others, and discussions. Discussion topics are typically tied to your activities or give you an idea of what to do for your assignments, allowing you to post suggestions and feedback to your peers. Because we have so many students in this class, I've divided the class into three equal groups to make the discussions a little more easy to manage. That way you're not wading through posts and replies from 22 students. Instead, it's just a small group of seven to eight. And then last but not least are the assignments. Take a look at the syllabus, take a look at the rubrics. Those are very important. Every assignment has a rubric so that you know what I'm expecting from you. So dig into the class, look at the course shell, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to send me an email. That's the quickest way to get a response from me. I will reply within 24 hours. If it's been 48, send help. I've probably been kidnapped by a moose or an elk. The course has been divided into five major topic areas that we'll cover in these six weeks. We'll start off with an introduction to digital imaging, looking a little bit at the history of photography, how that's brought us where we are now, and where are we headed from here. We'll take a look at digital photography. We'll dig into all of those different glossary terms that you may have heard but didn't really know what they meant. What's focal length? What's VSO? What's aperture? We'll also dig into mobile photography in week three. That's where you'll be able to compare pictures that you take with either a digital camera or your mobile device. I've got apps and resources regardless if you're an iOS or an Android user and we'll take a look at different ways that you can edit and manipulate these images. How can we deceive? We'll look at how you can actually detect manipulated images. And in that final week, you'll be able to apply this class to your context. I know that we have a variety of students in this course, from law students to K-12 teachers to industry trainers. In that week, in the final project, you'll be able to apply this to your context in whatever means necessary. So take a look ahead at that final project and let me know if you have any questions and begin thinking about, do you want to create an instructional unit for your own context? Do you want to perhaps write a research proposal? where digital imaging is the core, or the center point, the focus of that study? Or do you want to write a literature review on how digital imaging is influencing or impacting your context? Just some things to think about. So here's what you can expect in week one. You're taking care of this week's overview, and that's what those two little icons are to the right of course overview mean. It's a video. So if you take a look at the rest of the list, there's a history of photography activity, also videos, why manipulate images? That has an eye icon, meaning that it's an informational reading that you're going to take care of this week in part of this week's activities. You're going to participate in your personal introduction. That's what those discussion bubbles mean, which also means that image manipulation throughout history is another discussion topic. And then you're taking care of the readiness activity. That question mark means that it's a quiz. I want you to pay close attention to the readiness activity. You have the ability to download the preview version. It's a Word doc. I highly recommend that you grab it, look at each of the questions, dig through the course shell, look at the course resources, have your answers marked on your piece of paper, and then go take the quiz. So yes, it's an open book quiz. It's not intended to be a test to stress you out. It's a quiz to help you get acquainted to how I lay out the course, and what the expectations are and where you find general information. So with that, have a fantastic week, have a fantastic course, and I'll see you in WIO courses. So there's one last thing you need for that readiness activity and that is what is the sign held up in the course overview video? 
Here you go.